Whenever we think of Buddha our heart gradually loads with immense calmness and tranquility it's not just his name but his face his eyes and the body gestures that teach us a proper way of existence Let's dive into the journey of Gautam Buddha story of wisdom and enlightenment A person who gave a new path to knowledge and rightness took birth in 563 BC in Kapilvastu Nepal He was a son to the most respected and honored king of Sakya, Suddhodana. The king himself was a noble person and was known as the king of the laws. The king always ruled according to the rules and was admired by his nobles and courtiers as well as by the householders and merchants. The mother with whom Lord Buddha was blessed was the most beautiful Kolya princess named Mahamaya. He was a son to the most respected and honored king of Sakya, Suddhodana. The mother with whom Lord Buddha was blessed was the most beautiful Kolya princess named Mahamaya. Queen Mahamaya was the daughter of King Anjana of the Kolyas. But it was Maya's virtues and talents that were her most wonderful essences, for she was enriched with the most precious gifts of intelligence and piety. The couple commanded over the Sakyas. a warrior tribe living next to the Kolya tribe in the north of India in what is now known as Nepal the capital of the Sakya country was laid out across the foothills of the Himalayas called Kapilavastu one full moon night queen mahamaya saw a vivid dream she dreamt of four heavenly figures picked her up to lake anodatta in the Himalayas after giving her a divine bath they ornamented her with blissful flowers and anointed her with perfumes soon after a white elephant carrying a white lotus flower in its trunk arrived and went around her three times entering her womb through her right side when she wakes up from her dream the elephant had already disappeared she being tense ran to the king and requested him to come up with the meaning behind this dream They knew that this is a positive note because elephants are considered the most auspicious animal in Nepal. King ordered and assembled a group of wise men to discover the meaning of the dream. After a long discussion among the wise men, they delivered great news to Raja Suddhodana. The wise men said, "Your majesty, you are very lucky. The devas have accepted our queen as the mother of the purest one and the child will become a very great essence to this universe. The couple was happy to know now about this great occurrence. They were so happy that they bestowed the whole kingdom with offerings and good vibes. Kings from all over the realm were invited to participate in their celebration. The story witnesses the birth of Buddha after many years Queen Mahamaya became pregnant. She and her husband were very happy about it. On the full moon day in the month of May, she gave birth to the divine soul in Lumbini Park while she was on her way to see her parents. What is Gautam Buddha birthplace? Siddhartha Gautama, the Lord Buddha, was born in the famous gardens of Lumbini, which soon became a place of pilgrimage. In which year Gautam Buddha was born and died? The Lord Buddha was born in 623 BC. The exact times of Gautama Buddha's birth and death are uncertain. Most historians in the early 20th century dated his lifetime as 563 BC to 483 BC. Buddha is believed to have died about 483 BC or 400 BC at the age of 80 Kushinagar, Malla Republic according to the Buddhist tradition. The beautiful flowers started blooming all around negativity started taking down his origins Everyone was very happy to see the baby and as per the wise men's advice everyone believed that the baby will soon become the wisest of them all 5 days after the prince's birth the king asked five wise men to select a name for his son as per the rituals They named him Siddhartha This name means the one whose wishes will be fulfilled Everyone was very happy to see everything positive around the kingdom.